Imagine having a family vehicle, a Chrysler Pacifica. And then being in home at night and then you start smelling something burning and then you go walk towards your garage and your whole house is ablaze because Stellantis just made a crap product. And now they burned your house down. Yeah, not good. For the longest time, whoa, for the longest What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. I know people will be like, that didn't happen. It hasn't happened yet. Actually, it did happen. And it has resulted in Stellantis recalling 24,000 hybrid minivans for fire risks. Urges owners to park outside. Where have we heard this before? This sounds like EV uh, Bolt, Chevy Bolt uh, information right now. This sounds like the stuff that was going on with the early editions of the Bolt that were just spontaneously combusting. <laughs> the company said it's aware of seven incidents, for you dumbasses that like to say... It never happened, TK. None of these. It's a potential risk. It never, no car is actually caught on fire. Yeah, seven so far. Um, company said it's a war of seven incidents that occurred when the vehicles were turned off and some occurred while recharging. Ram and Chrysler parent Stellantis said on Thursday it's recalling about 24,000 plug-in hybrid minivans worldwide because of fire risk and urging owners to park outside away from structures pending recall repairs. Oh yeah, and if you are wondering how long those, <laughs> when are they gonna get that recall done for you on that Chrysler minivan, uh, you're gonna be waiting a while. Uh, they want you to park your thing out, you're, you're gonna be parking your minivan outside for the next eight to 10 months, probably. And that's if they can get the not cheap components in to be able to fix it so they don't have this issue. Does this seem like a running thing with Stellantis? Cheap parts, cost savings, thanks to Carlos Tavares, right? We're saving all this money by these cheaper parts, but yet you're dumping out all of this money in recalls. Literally, like if there was a place I could gamble and bet every week if Stellantis was going to have a recall, I'm, and the and the over under was half, like over you know zero point five or one recall a week. I would literally take the over every friggin' week. Every week there is another recall from Stellantis because they're shit materials, shit products, and bad manufacturing. There's a difference between saving money as a company the right way, and then just putting people's safety at risk. I wonder how many of those seven that caught on fire burned down somebody's house. I just, I just wonder how many of them caught on fire and burned down houses. And these are, these are not like a challenger or a charger, like something I would drive. Like th these are family vehicle kids. You put your children's safety in these vehicles. There is zero excuse here. Out of all the vehicles that Stellantis is trying to cost cut and save, that entire friggin' office building in Detroit was paid for by the minivan. Paid for. Paid for by the minivan. If any vehicle, if any product in your entire portfolio at Stellantis was manufactured with not cheap parts, it should be the minivan. It should be your Pacifica, your town and country, your car caravan, whatever you want to call the friggin' minivan. You can rename the, the minivan whatever you want. It's a minivan, all right? That should be the vehicle that you put the best safety in, the best parts, because you sell a shit ton of them. It is the only thing that you sell at Chrysler right now. The minivan, gas and hybrid. And if you're looking at buying one right now and you buy the EV model, you're a dumbass. This is a common issue with Stellantis with 
anything they have that's hybrid. We're seeing the issues with the Hornet left, right, and center, and they can't fix it. And if they haven't been able to figure out the crap that's going on with the Hornet, you think they're going to fix fix the issues on these uh, minivans? Not anytime soon. Not anytime soon. I'm sorry. I, I know you guys hate the negativity of it, but it's but here's the thing. If we don't talk about it, if we don't put it out there, some poor unsuspecting mom, mom and dad are going to go out and buy one of these friggin' minivans because they're going to be like, oh, it's so great. It's going to be safe for the family. It's going to be, and then they buy the damn thing. They come home, they plug it into the friggin' wall like it's a friggin' washing machine, and they go in the house and they're sleeping. They put their kids to bed, and now the house is on fire at two o'clock in the morning. No, man. Hell no. And that's why they did the recall. 100% why they did the recall, because they know. I, I can respect where Stellantis is coming from of trying to push this EV stuff forward. But if that's what you want to do, you need to have the people that actually know how to do that. And it's not going to be with cheap parts and subpar labor. You're going to have to pay actual money because this is the other thing that pisses me off about Stellantis now with this issue is you pay, you saved, we saved all this money in the second quarter. Yeah. How much did you pay out in recalls? I bet it's more than what you would have saved if you would have just went with the quality parts and not the crap. And that's the thing that pisses me off more about this company. If, if you're a shareholder, if you own a lot of stock in Stellantis, I'd start filing complaints with the SEC. Because I literally feel like Carlos Tavares' stewardship is he's intentionally trying to sink the company. It's, 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 there's no other. How can you be that dumb? How can you be that dumb? How? I guess on paper you're thinking, well, if I go with these cheaper parts, we're going to save all this money. But you're not now. Now you're recalling twenty four thousand that you sold, and you're going to have to put whole, you know, whole new electrical systems, high voltage systems in these s in these uh, minivans, because you went with cheaper crap. When if you would have did it right the first time, you wouldn't have to do that. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. This is just another example of the disaster. The days in our Stellantis. <laughs> Another recall. I mean, how many how many videos have I done in the last 30 days about recalls for Stellantis? Several, right? At least four, right? Four or five. And I bet you I'm not done. I bet you they're gonna keep it's gonna keep happening. And that's the sad part. Let me know what you guys think about this recall in the comments below. Oh, I haven't used my toasty sound effect in a long time, but I'm going to go find a picture of a burned out uh, <laughs> Chrysler minivan. I had to put that in the thumbnail probably. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I know somebody asked in the comments if I was going to do a video on all the magnets. Maybe, maybe. I'll put that over on TK's Garage too if you guys want to see it. But uh, yeah, till next time. Stay petty, my friends.